South African company's excellence has led to the development of a leading unmanned aircraft. Now, many will remember uh, I had this conversation a couple of months ago. The idea behind this is to enhance border surveillance and security operations. And we keep getting told time and time again by authorities that they need technology. Well, the Milkor 380 UAV was developed by defense company Milkor, uh, and the idea is for remote areas and very dense terrain. It's not about just having a UAV, but it's the cameras and the technology behind the cameras that are becoming game changing and thankfully it looks like it is becoming more and more prolific when it comes to fighting uh, our issues at the border. Well I remember speaking to uh, Daniel Duplessis from Milcor back then. He's now made time to come in uh, and speak to us this morning. Daniel, wonderful to have you actually come in uh, on the show. I I'm going to ask a stupid question. I know I'm within striking distance here <laughs> so don't, don't, don't harm me. A UAV, is that the same as a drone? So UAV is a general term, okay. right? unmanned aerial vehicles. Um, but they get classified in different categories. So a, a drone is essentially like a nickname for an unmanned aerial vehicle. Even small photography uh, drones that we, we commonly see, mm. um, all the way up to military applications. So even in the military field, sometimes they would refer to a military UAV as a drone. It refers to the humming noise that it makes. Um, but essentially, a UAV in this category is an unmanned aerial vehicle. It requires a crew of three people to operate it continuously. I'm looking at it now here on the screen. Why does it take three? I'm guessing there's an actual pilot involved. What's the other two people do? So two of them would be a payload operator and a communication specialist to ensure that you have seamless communication from the air to the ground and also stream the information that you are capturing from the air also down so it can be analyzed and processed in real time.